Okay, so I just took the market long. Uh, when I'm taking a trade, I look for two main things. Am I increasing my probabilities and am I decreasing risk? So I'm increasing probability by getting in at the equilibrium, as well as the market internals looking super strong to the upside right now. And I am decreasing risk by getting in at the equilibrium and using a correct position size so I don't lose too much money on this trade if, I, if it doesn't go well. Okay, so I just took the trade off. Uh, it could go higher, but I just traded at the most probable area of a turnaround, which is this high right here. So you don't need to catch the full move. You just need to catch the most probable move. I mean, it was a good trade. I don't know what the fucking equilibrium is. I mean, that makes me think of uh, vertigo. Like, I just got off the plane and I'm dizzy. But, I mean, if you take a look at the chart he's showing, you see the clear doji rejection and then the candle wick above. So, yeah, that is a major level where buyers are sitting and there's a... There's a nice block down there that's going to cause an order to go up. So I agree with everything he said about you don't need to capture a whole move, only a move that you're happy with. That was a huge message. You know, good trade. Um, don't know what an equilibrium is, but uh, overall, if it's working for him, it's working. But.